Hey, how's it going? My name is Torben. I'm a filmmaker, and in this video, I will give you of my I will give you a tour of my beautiful van. So this van here is a Mercedes-Benz 310. It runs on petrol, and it was built in 1991. It used to be an old fire truck, which is why we still got the lights up the top and the big one here, which still works. But we don't have an air conditioning system in this van, and we don't have power steering, which can be quite tough sometimes. Up on the top, we've got the roof rack with some boxes for storage, and the speakers I built out lately. Coming to the inside. So we've got insulation on the ceiling, on the floor and on the walls. It used to have insulation in the very back too during the winter. And I even had some insulation parts for the windows I just clamped in. I've been building out this van constantly while I was living in it and just added some features I wanted to have and you know, removed some I didn't like. Coming up to the front of the van, we've got passenger seat, which can be turned around if we wanted to. Um, it does not have a swivel thing to just it around we just have to undo the whole thing take it out and put it back in the other way but it really is worth it when you stay in for longer than the day we've got the fire extinguisher sitting right here because obviously we're a fire truck and if there's a fire we need to extinguish it in between the seats we've got speakers we've got a little notepad for all the notes along the way up in here we've got builds a whole lot of builds um, small little Plant here, just for the sake of having a plant, which is awesome. We've got a curtain here, and behind the driver's seat, we've got a fold-out ladder, so we can go up on the top roof. Coming to the back of the van, we've got a little storage compartment here. We've got two longboards to drive around the city, which can be quite handy sometimes because taking bikes or push bikes just too big. And because I like longboarding, this is the way to go. Right next to this storage area, we've got the small little fridge I talked about in other videos. We've got the fire stove, which was very handy during the winter. I used to cook on there as well. It's got a little plate on there, so you can heat up water and all that kind of stuff. Small little storage compartment up here for cups and glasses. We've got the fold-out bed here, which most of the times is folded out because I thought about having it as a couch, but you don't really have it as a couch often, it just stays as a bed. We've got a small little kitchen area here um, with a pretty big sink, which most often is used for the dishes. We've got a small little compartment area here with some storage, which is in that box. Can be pulled out too if a bed wouldn't be out. Um, small little tap coming from the side here, um, which is gonna go to the gray and fresh water down here. You could take them out from the front here but from the back door as well we've got the cup holders we've got a small little compartment area up the top here um, a box with heaps of shit inside um, the monitor obviously which is very nice for editing most often I have the laptop sitting here with the monitor here and then just lay up against this wall and just edit all my videos some storage in the back here we've got cups for knives and forks. A knife holder on the wall, which is very handy and didn't really cost much. Um, recently, I've changed all oh, this bottom front so we can get some stuff in and out while the bed is folded out. The whole front here would have some more storage down below. Probably the best thing that I did buy for this van was this little broom here. She can just sweep off all the countertop and the bottom floor. Um, we've got the fuse box here. Um, all little kinds of fuses for the lights, for the fridge and for the inverter for example. All the electric stuff is underneath the bed here. We've got a 180 amp hour battery. We've got a inverter for up to 600 watts. A charging device for the battery which has about 30 amps I think which is pretty quick. And I think that's almost it. The starter battery is underneath the driver's seat and it connects via fuses to a small computer which figures out the perfect charging 
volts and amps for the battery while driving so we can have the battery charged up from our drives the small cooker everyone has them everyone knows them i need some better cooking devices this is it's not gonna do the job this is not the greatest but it's an easy way to cook stuff so we've got the back door here um, this little guy here rolls up underneath the ceiling i've covered that in a previous video um, as i said this one was shut during the winter with a lot of insulation but it's now open it's awesome for the summer and we've got a mosquito net here which we can mount on the sides here with magnets so we're safe inside from mosquitoes and can have the door open at night we've got tools underneath the bed on the back side here and just all kinds of tools and hardware stuff to build stuff we've got the 230 volt input to whenever we want to hook ourselves up to the power grid and we've got a couple of outlets inside and we can actually charge the battery i've talked about this one in previous videos this uh, i tried to make a fridge didn't really work out but it is a service trolley from an aircraft and right now it is a grocery compartment so we can just i don't know put all our cans and onions tea rice whatever we want to just store just put in here yeah the bed has three of those so i can pull them out and in individually which i thought was a smart idea but the whole concept of a fold-out bed is not the best idea that's for my opinion at least got some compartments up here something underneath the roof rack we've got a sun deck chair um, just a small addition to the van and that's pretty much it for the back door I'm gonna go up to the side now we've got the chimney for the fire stove up on the top here which right now is in the position for driving it's just held in place by a couple of elastic strings this is probably one of the most interesting parts of the whole build and for demonstration purposes I'm gonna put on the chimney right now so you can see how that one works first thing you want to do take out this chair so you can actually stand a little bit higher I've got the screwdriver to get this little boy out here so you can screw this out take that one out that one comes back in here unmount the strings and that's it that's the chimney now we can use the fire stove i'm gonna put it back together and then show you the inside of this door So this piece is just clamped into the window um, so we can actually open the door if needed. It just goes out like this and then we can open the door. So we can put heaps of shit in here. We've got a couple of backpacks, emergency toilet, grey water, fresh water, the kettle and the heater. You might be wondering why this bit of cloth is here I recently added that one because the wood was just uh, rubbing against the metal and it just wasn't very nice of a noise and so this one helped out with that got a bit of wood in behind on the skateboard but that's it for this side So that was pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, check out my other videos if you want to know more about special things I did or didn't do, whatever. <sighs> yeah, that was it. That was it. Just one bonus thing I could tell you. This one is the cover 
for the engine and you can actually take it out so that you can actually see the bottom of the road whilst driving. Isn't that cool? You can take the whole thing out and then drive without that thing. It's crazy. I'm gonna show you the engine too, just because some nerds wanna see it. And I love engines too. Especially the old one, the tiniest bonnet you will ever see. The engine sits up in there, so right between the driver and the passenger seat. Yeah. That's it. That's it for the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!